Doing action is really exhilarating. Being thrown out of a helicopter makes me want to go back behind an office desk. I was a huge fan of Jack Ryan as a kid. So to, uh, to be able to play this role is something that uh, is still a huge honor and, and something that, listen, if, if the right opportunity came up, I'd gladly jump in again. Yeah, I refuse to acknowledge it being over. So I'm, I'm just going to continue playing Mike November because I have so much fun doing it. Listen, I'm a big fan of Michael B. Jordan's and, and I know that he's playing the John Clark character. And I think that if there's a way to put us all together, that would be really, really fun. I think that we're going to take it to new heights for sure. Yeah, I think it's also the smartest season. You know, it really, it, it, as, much, as much fun as the roller coaster ride is to be on, you also have to think a little bit. And I, I love that challenge that the audience is going to have. Hi, John. Hi, Michael. Welcome How to are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Great. My first question is actually for John. You know, you'd spoken about this in a couple of interviews of how, you know, you're thrown out of a helicopter. And, you know, after years of filming in a confined office space and now getting thrown off helicopters, how exhilarating is it to do those action scenes? Um, doing action is really exhilarating. Being thrown out of a helicopter makes me want to go back behind an office desk. <laughs> I, uh, it's a pretty terrifying concept, uh, especially when you didn't know it was happening. Um, no, I mean, this this um, character in this show is so vastly different, clearly, from The Office. And it's been really, really fun to get the opportunity to play this character and play in this world. And doing action stuff is, you know, I think the two of us are a little bit like little kids. We, we feel like we want to take a shot at almost everything, um, whether it is the smart uh, thing to do or not. We, we still want to try. And, you know, for Michael, I feel like Mike and James are Jack's voice of reason. Uh, you know, sometimes he listens to y'all, sometimes he doesn't. But from season two to season three, you know, how do you think that equation has, you know, grown from season to season? How has it grown? I, you know, I, I think the character evolved, right? But at, at, its, at, it, had it, at his core was always just, I'm going to do the right thing. Um, and he knows uh, that, that Jack is very much the same way, that Greer is very much the same way. And so he knows he can ride with these guys. He knows he, he, he's going to be on the, the path to righteousness or whatever you want to call it. Um, and that, that, that they're going to serve the, the greater good by doing it. Well, you're all shot for season three and season four back to back. And, you know, season four marks the end of the show. So how does it feel to say goodbye to these characters, you know, who have been loved for all of these years? I mean, it's been an absolute honor to play this character. Whether or not it's the last time I play it, I don't know. I mean, there might be another iteration. I was saying to Michael, we can probably do a scene in the living room tonight after all these interviews. <laughs> um, but no, it's listen, it, this, this is a big deal for me because uh, getting to play it was thrilling and fun and all those things. But also, I was a huge fan of Jack Ryan as a kid. So to, uh, to be able to play this role is something that uh, is still a huge honor and, and something that, listen, if, if the right opportunity came up, I'd gladly jump in again. Yeah, I refuse to acknowledge it being over. So I'm, I'm just going to continue playing Mike November because I have so much fun doing it. And you know, right there, was, there, is, <laughs> oh, there is a three year difference between, you know, season two coming out and now season three coming out. And what I wanted to ask you is, for people who are fans and for people who are going to become fans again, uh, what is the one aspect of this season that you're most excited for new fans as well as old fans to see? Well, to be honest, not that we don't shoot every season for the fans. This season in particular was very much um, shot with the fans in mind because we knew due to the pandemic there would be such a big difference in time from season two to season three. We wanted to make it the most thrilling and action-packed season that we could. and. Um, I think we definitely did that. This is definitely my favorite season. Um, I think also for me as, a, as an actor to get to play Jack on the run from the CIA, the fact that the CIA is the, are the people who's hunting Jack this season is really, really exciting. Um, so I think if you, if you haven't seen the show, it's a great place to jump in. And if you have seen the show, I think that we're gonna take it to new heights for sure. Yeah, I think it's also the smartest season you know, it really it, it as much as much fun as the roller coaster ride is to be on you also have to think a little bit and i i love that challenge that the audience is going to have all the not much has been revealed about michael penna's character can you give us a tease on what we can expect from his performance in this season oh michael pena he's in season four actually he's not in season three michael pena is in season four um okay but yeah he plays domingo chavez and 
that's a whole nother world that we'll probably talk about when season four comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Since the Ryan verse is so humongous and there is possibility for spin-offs. So do you think we'll get to see more of you guys in the spin-offs as well? Or Jack Ryan is it for you guys? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that the, the, the cool thing is the Clancy universe. Listen, I'm a big fan of Michael B. Jordan's and, and I know that he's playing the John Clark character. And I think that if there's a way to put us all together, that would be really, really fun to bring together all these characters that Tom Clancy wrote so long ago. And what about you, Michael? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll be like, yeah, I get to keep playing that character. I'm in. Totally. <laughs> My final question for you guys is, is there a message that you'd like to send to your fans who have been anticipating for the longest time for Jack Ryan season three? Oh, thank you for your patience. I, we are very well aware of the time that it took between season two and three. And the fact that you not only stuck with us, but are excited for season three means the absolute world to us. So I, uh, I really, really appreciate it and hope you enjoy the season three that, that we made just, just for you to come back. So we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much and best of luck for Jack Ryan. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.